Με την ευκαιρία της μεγάλης αναδρομικής έκθεσης του Στίβεν Αντωνάκο, στην οποία οργάνωσε το Ίδρυμα Ιωάννου Κωστοπούλου και επιμελήθηκε η διευθύντριά του Κατερίνα Κοσκινά, επισκεφθήκαμε το Μουσείο Μπενάκη της Οδού Πειραιός, προκειμένου να μιλήσουμε με τον Διεθνούς Φήμη Σικαστικό Καλλιτέχνη. My way of thinking, my way of working. One work may may tell me how I should continue the next work, and vice versa. Even from the uh, the works I do on paper or on vellum, may develop in such a way that will maybe direct me to another direction of of, of drawing, working on vellum or paper. <laughs> I'm an artist and try to solve uh, artistic problems, uh, either on paper, or vellum, or sculptures, or what have you, three-dimensional. I, I try not to stay on my, on my art problems too long because I like to work very fast and I like the work to come out very uh, intuitive in my own brain. As you can see, I'm an abstract artist. Uh, I think uh, there are a lot of wonderful painters who paint res in a respiration way, in figures or other or landscapes. But for me, it's not that it's not interesting. It's, it, it holds me back. You know, I have more freedom in what I do. I think I have more freedom in what I do. Maybe uh, people who paint it, it, figures may say the same thing, but for me, uh, uh, the way I work is much more exciting and more freedom in using the material of, of neon. Living in Manhattan, I said, my goodness, look at these neons. They're, the lights is, is wonderful, they're very bright. And the, the other important thing is that the neon tube, I can manipulate it. I can make circles, I can make wavy lines, I can make straight lines. And That, to me, was a revelation that I should work with neon because I saw how it, wonderful it was to work with it. I could see what the light was doing to the room. As I worked with the neon, it opened other doors for me. Uh, I, I then I began to do uh, works on buildings all over the world, here in Greece, uh, in the rest of Europe, United States, and Japan. The neon was outside on the signs. I brought the neon indoors, which is very important. Then many years later, I brought the neon back outside doing works on buildings. So it's a, it was a wonderful experience and I'm still experiencing uh, that and I'm still learning from that. I try to make spaces, environments, where you can sit, as I said before, and think about yourself, think about your inner self. And if you want to call that spirit, spirituality, fine. Obviously, the chapels that I've designed, even the one that I've designed here, uh, I think can serve as a, a religious chapel with a priest and so forth. But you, you'll notice, though, all my chapels are small. They're for three or four people, or even for a family chapel. They're not large. I like to have people have an intimate relationship with the space. That is what's good about art. I, I do not demand or ask you to look at the work the way I'm looking at it. The, the important thing is the people, the public should experience it in their own way and be satisfied with it. If they like it or don't like it. If they like it, that was wonderful. If they, they're not interested in it, at least they can question themselves why I'm not interested in it. And that's also very important. Who am I? Well, I'm not going to go to the pa past, but um, uh, I'm an artist, and I uh, always wanted to be an, an artist. And uh, I, I enjoy waking up in the morning and going to the studio and uh, doing my work. Thank <laughs> you.